The students started out really tentative and it was like pulling teeth getting them to write. And so it's been a lot of fun to see them actually end up with stories that are several pages long and, and it's something that they can be proud of and share with other people. I think that getting their, their tough times down on paper has really been healing for them. They, and they've actually said once they complete it, that it was healing, that it really felt good. And now they can kind of put it away and put it to the side. And it doesn't make, it doesn't mean that it didn't happen, but now they can think about it in a different way. It's really helped me kind of feel like I'm a part of the San Diego community more like I have. There are people that I know in town now. I can come to the Salvation Army and see friendly faces every day. What, what this class means to me is uh, sharing some of my uh, joyful, uh, very joyful moments, my adventures, and uh, giving, trying to give some good advice to people and hoping by doing that to influence other people for the good. Over the years, I've come to the conclusion that the vast majority of people are honest and trustworthy. I used to say that I would rather have my pocket picked a few times than keep my money in my underwear or in a money belt. If money were hidden in my underwear, then there would necessarily be a part of me that would encounter each person I met as a potential thief, and I refuse to live that way. Likewise, when a relative stranger tells me a story, I tend to believe that story. Even if I'm surrounded by people who are convinced that they're hearing a tall tale, until a person proves me mistaken, I choose to err on the side of trust, for, again, I find it to be a more rewarding way to live. I'm writing these memoirs for me. Uh, the things that I've had inside that I've never been able to express, and it was a great opportunity to be able to express them. And the company I worked for was not able to renew my contract. My job was gone. I struggled to find work. It was a very difficult time. I realized that what everything that I've gone through and how much grace I've had to go through them and realizing that God loved me all the way through them. I'm writing them for myself, just to get a lot of the stress and old stuff out. I have four kids and five grandkids, you know, and, and I, instead of having to tell them so much, maybe they could just read this. Just knowing some of the things that I've done or some of the places I've been, you know, you know help them understand me a little bit more. I'm getting older and I don't remember as, as, as many things as, as I used to. So, so maybe if I have them written down, then it's already there. I won't have to think about it. What I love most about this class is the students' willingness to participate and to, to share with, with each other and with me. And it's really been a lot of fun.